Is the gospel of peace a promise of ease and prosperity? The priceless material with which God has fitted our feet for readiness in spiritual warfare is nothing less than the gospel of peace. However, the promise of peace is not grounds for expecting an easy existence. First, when the Bible speaks of the gospel of peace, the emphasis is not prosperity, but peace with God. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, your heart once entertained contemptible thoughts about God. You had an inbred disgust for his principles and precepts. But now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you wholly in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. Thus, as soldiers of the cross, we can march through life's battles with a song in our hearts and with our feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. God doesn't promise us a panacea, but he does promise us peace in the midst of life's storms. Furthermore, to stand firm with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace is to have peace with others. While we cannot make everyone love us, we can love everyone. The gospel of peace enables us to tread confidently through canyons of conflict and controversy with others. In the words of Solomon, when a man's ways are pleasing to the Lord, he makes even his enemies live at peace with him. Finally, the gospel of peace is a preview of perfect peace in paradise. In the present, peace is imperfect. One day, however, we will step over the threshold into perfect peace. The bottom line is this. Pilgrims who stand firm with their feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace are only a step away from perfect peace. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. John chapter 14, verse 27.